Hi! Sometimes when you play Hoi 4, you might find that achievements can be long, grinding or tiresome, but that's not necessarily the case with today's achievement, freedom or death. To follow in the footsteps of Occam's Razor, the simplest solution is most often the correct one. So let's take a look. Greece, 1936, historical Iron Man. Ah, and here we are. So let's take a look at that achievement. Freedom or death. So as Greece, we have to liberate Albania while being at war with Italy. But the conditions for the achievement are actually different. All we have to be is at war with Italy and have full control of those two particular states, Northern Epirus and Albania. Well, I think we can do that, right? Maybe there's some tactical play you could do here to try and circumvent some of the problems that could arise. But it can also just be the case that maybe if you want to do a bad guy conquest, you should join the bad guys. For that reason, let's see about recruiting them and begin with the king's government. Don't overcomplicate it, just build mills. Research, industry and weapons should do us nicely. And away we go. And at the start of the game, we win a simple election. Simple, simple election. No Byzantium today, I'm afraid. And then we head down for Yanis Metaxas. Let's hope I said his name right. Greek can always be a little bit of a struggle. While we're here, we might as well quickly assign up some uh, decent guys to get this war going. That should be good. With our trendy new leader now in power, I'm quite literally just going to follow the focus tree all the way down to the recruitment, and uh, not too much is going to happen. It really is just a, you know, paint by the numbers colouring book session. Don't forget to pick up partial mobilisation on your path down, and after some time, we can finally recruit them. The people we need to conquer Albania. Sorry, liberate Albania. Very important for the achievement. It's a liberation. With the recruitment done, we now have the choice to either go an unorthodox state or follow in the footsteps of giants. Um, because modern movement requires 40% support for Fash, I'm going to do neither and probably go do the four year plan. Make sure to pick up your advisor at 150 pp, otherwise, you will look like a nubbin. And nobody wants to look like a nubbin. And bolster the shashed plan? Oh, good lord. Basically, every focus we take at this point is just a delay tactic. Now at 29%, I think we should be able to get started on following in the footsteps, and we'll easily be over 40% to go straight into the next focus. If you are struggling for time though, you can use the anti-democratic raids to help your progress along, which is what I was doing, but I'm good now, I don't need it. Why yes, I will head straight into the modern movement. Thank you for asking. And look at that, perfectly above 40, straight into 41%, timed to a T. Okay, with focus <laughs> completing simulator done with, we now get to choose who we want as our leader. I for one think I'm done with this um, Yanis guy, and we're gonna go with George instead, because that's a first name I can pronounce. In addition, we can also just go straight into justifying for a claim on Albania. What's important about it, Northern Epirus being a claimed state is the justification doesn't go away, which means we can take it pretty much whenever we want to. In a mixed duality, we both got the justification and some Greco-German ties at the same time. So I say we try and take advantage of this and uh, try and mix them together. So world tension is above 25%, so the allies can guarantee but they won't guarantee Albania because my personal generated uh, threat is below 10%. It's currently 27 But if I join the Axis, then our threats get combined and they will guarantee Albania. So I need to be very quick about this and I need to do this. And then quite literally the second they say yes, I need to pause the game. Like that. And then... We haven't even given the allied AI a chance to stop us in our conquest that we're about to do. Yet we're still in the Axis. Okay, let's see if we can't quickly blitzkrieg this to the finish line. There goes Italy, and they certainly won't be happy about it. Okay, Germany wants to join, and they are more than welcome to. Got all these victory points we can take these days. So modern. And there's the achievement. Freedom or death. Sometimes it's as simple as that. We're in the Axis, 
we just need to quickly garrison all of our ports, and we should be able to hold out from here. But yeah, that's the achievement. Perhaps adding all of these victory points into Albania made this really easy, or perhaps this achievement was always really easy. I genuinely can't tell, but um, yeah, if you haven't got this achievement yet, I'm almost certain you can get it now. So thank you for watching, I see no reason to carry on. If you liked, feel free to like, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Wow! It's that simple? He could have been doing formable nations in this time. What a joke. Bye.